Sunday morning. Hello, yeah. everyone, and happy, happy New happy Year. Happy New Year. Oh, praise God. We are here in 2021. Did you ever think we'd make it to 2021? Dear <laughs> Jesus. When I was a kid, I thought 2021 was out of space somewhere. You know, I mean, just think about it. Uh, but we're here. God has sustained us until now. Cheryl and I are here with you this morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're having a great morning. You had your coffee. And now, or tea, tea or like I Milk. say, Geritol, whatever <laughs> it takes to wake you up, okay? Geritol, I mean, where did that come from? You, you know, someone said, as a matter of fact, I talked about Geritol about five or six months or longer, and some, well, someone sent me, I believe it was Rhonda, who <laughs> sent us a bottle of Geritol, yes. <laughs> and it's still sitting there somewhere. Well, so anyway, funny. we're here to praise God and have a wonderful time this morning. Praise I God. always look forward to being with you and to hearing what Cheryl's got to say and what God is speaking to her for us in this new year. Oh, we need the word. If ever we do, it's today coming into this year and how we need God in this country. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth hallelujah. is marching on. I had a play. I just had to do that this morning. I really did. Well, I want to do something before we start. This is kind of different. We've never done this before, but I have to because it's a family thing. And uh, it just so happens that one of our daughters, Cherie, it's her birthday today. Oh, yes. oh happy birthday, Cherie, our happy beautiful birthday, Cherie. Sweetheart. Uh, have you ever met her? Yeah, sometime we're going to have to have her on Facebook. But I have a photograph in case some of you have never seen her. This is what she is. She's a beautiful young lady. And here's Cherie. This is her wedding picture. Look at that beautiful, wonderful face. I think she looks just like you. Does she really? I think so. Oh, yeah. Well, Papa, dad, you know, daughter, daddy. Here we are. And this I is Cherie. It. That's so wonderful. She's Cherie Bonard, married to Steve, has two beautiful daughters. And uh, that's this is her wedding picture. It's the only one I could find. It was on the wall of one of the guys. And I'm going to share this with our friends and our family. That's our Cherie right there. I'm going to get closer. Look at her face. She is as sweet as this photograph, I'm Tilt telling it you. toward me on the top. She's amazing. She <laughs> really is. There she is. Well, we, do you mind singing happy birthday to her? Oh, happy, happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. The, the friend, you know, right now. Uh, you know, the Christian one. Oh, happy birthday. I, uh, uh, can't think of a better hymn uh, because we're going to go to that hymn. Uh, but before we do, uh, if, if you don't have this hymnal, you got to get it. Everybody, I would say, not everybody, but most of the people that watch this on a regular basis has this hymnal. It's called Hymn Restoration. And we came up with this wonderful hymn book almost two years ago now. It's How hard to believe. How would they get it? It really How is. How would they get it? Oh, do I don't know. know. They'll figure it out. Uh, but first, uh, let me... You'll figure out. Someone will tell you how to get it. I don't someone tell will you. post it. Brans I know they will. Bransoncakes.com, I well, think. Well, that's, yeah. Anyway, okay. uh, I want to play something for you that came out of this little hymn book right here. Oh. It's called Singing Youth. Yeah. Do you remember this? This oh. goes way <laughs> back in the 40s, I think. Wow. But to put my glasses on. I came across a song I haven't heard in years. And I want to see if we can name that tune. 
Okay, <laughs> I'll just play it and see if you can come up with a Praise with the, the title. Praise this is going to be really interesting. I have it right here. Well, I did have it. Where is it now? Okay, it's right here. And this is almost going to be our theme song for this new year. It could be. It could be. See if you come up with a title. Okay, I'm going to play it first. I'm going to read the notes. It goes like this. She's never heard it before. I, but I cool. remember this. The name of the song is, and did anybody come with the title? No. Living for Jesus. Hmm. It goes, oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior. some old hymn that we sang years ago. That's a song that just makes the point that we must every day live for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this opportunity that we could be here with all our Facebook friends and just share your word, your music, your gospel through the word of God. Lord, we ask that every word that's spoken, every song that's played will be to your honor and to your glory. And Lord, thank you for Cherie. Thank you for our daughter and her birthday today. And all those who've had a birthday this week, bless them abundantly. We give you praise and honor for what's going to happen today on Facebook. I'm so excited because you, <laughs> you always do something for us. During this time of fellowship with all our wonderful friends, we pray for miracles. We pray for salvation. We pray, Lord, that you give us strength through this New Year's. 2021 is your year for blessing for us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Praise I God. am so happy that we have an opportunity to live this life for Jesus. That's exactly what this song that I just played, Living for Jesus. You know, Cheryl, we have to do that. Every, Every day. day. Every moment. We have to have his heart in our hearts. We have to have his wisdom in our, in our spirit. We need Jesus in our lives. This nation needs the Lord. Oh, and let's not stop praying for this United States of America. No. We've we got ways to go, but until he returns, we've got to live for Jesus. Jesus. 
And that is the truth. All hail the power of Jesus' name, one of the greatest hymns of all times. Page six, are you there? I want us all to sing this together. It's in the key of G, and I'm going to play it in that key. Unless it's too high for Cheryl, then i got to bring it down, okay? <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, so let me give you the introduction. Blessed assurance. And that's at the bottom of the page. Blessed assurance, page page 22. 22. And I'm going to play this key. <laughs> Thank you. 
all the day long. Amen. Last verse. Here we go. Because one of these days... You think it's going to be this year? It surely could, Dino. It could be. We've got to keep our lamps trimmed and burning right. and ready to go any day now. Because God is not mocked. Whatsoever we sow, that shall we also reap. So this nation must sow unto the Father.
Praise God. Hallelujah. And I pray if Jesus were to return today, that there's no doubt in your mind that you will see him face to face. Oh, how exciting is that going to be? Can you imagine someday seeing your loved ones, your dear husband that has passed on to glory? My dear grandma, I can't wait to see her. Oh, I know she's up there cooking Greek food. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, my mother and my dad, and oh, Gary McSpadden, Cheryl's mom and dad, I'll tell you, what a reunion that'll be. Amen. In the air. <laughs> yes. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, God gave me a scripture, and I'm going to read it for you. But first of all, let's have Cheryl come here. Would you come here, sweetheart? Yes. Sit right next to me. Yes, Please. Yes, here she comes. <laughs> Good morning, all of you. <laughs> I try to are. back in here. And it's not easy parking, backing up. So <laughs> That's what she said, right? Hallelujah. Oh, bless you this morning. It's so good to see you. And we're so glad that you're with us. And uh, <coughs> People are saying, well, how, what do you mean to see you? We can see you. We know what you look like. <laughs> We've met a lot of you folks. If you're like me, you might still be in your pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But oh. you should have dressed up for church. Even though you didn't have to go into a building, you stayed right at home. Good. We dress up too. Good. Yes, we do. Every and Sunday morning. Your time. Please do. Thank you. Does it match? Oh, do we match? Oh, look at that. We yeah. blend. Yes. How does that happen, Cheryl? You are a wonderful husband. How <laughs> do we match like this? <laughs> Lord gave me Psalm 30 today, okay. this right. morning. And I don't know if I'll read the whole thing or not, but let's let's read this together. Psalm 30, this is a great okay. psalm for us. Coming into the new year, Hallelujah. new beginnings. Oh, yes. Starting a new, new year. Yes. And let's have a good one. Let's pray, 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 pray that God will just... Yes, he will do what he needs to do for this nation. But anyway, and for you in anoint, your life. Anoint this nation. Yes. Yes. Psalm 30, Cheryl. Everyone turn to Psalm well, 30. I'm going to stay right now. And this was for the dedication of the temple of David. And it's very apropos for us today. Okay. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths. Out of that COVID, right, Cheryl? Yes, yes, yes. And did not let my enemies gloat over me. That's right. Oh, Lord, my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Yes, amen. We have a lot of people that have been healed. Oh, so many of you have been healed, and they have, we're yes. so grateful. And the others are standing in faith. I know you are. I got a feeling we've helped extend a lot of people's lives. Oh, I pray so. Because it gives them purpose. We're giving... We're trying to encourage you yes. to get up and, and eat a lot of blueberries, number one. That's right. <laughs> That's what we I heard, heard this morning heard for your today. memory. Blueberries are great. I, we have that every day, don't we? You do, and I'm going to start. Okay, they say blueberries <laughs> are great for you. I've read that a long time ago. So get up. Okay, what I, that was a little, that's the Dino that was translation. That sideline. <laughs> oh, Lord, my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Oh, Lord, you brought me up from the grave. You spared me from going down into the pit. Sing Thank to the Jesus. Lord, you saints of his. Amen. Praise his holy name. Well, we've been doing that. For his anger lasts only for a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Oh, yes. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. And it says then, weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in, in the morning. In the morning, joy comes this morning. You may be weeping only for a moment. But rejoicing comes Praise in him. the morning. And that's what happened this morning. Yes. We rejoiced. Yes, we When are. I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Oh, Lord, when you favored me, you made my mountain stand firm. Praise the Lord. On that foundation. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. Mm -hmm. To you, O oh Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What gain is there in my destruction, in my going down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my help. Amen. And we're praying that today for you. You turned my wailing into dancing. Oh, hallelujah. Opa. Opa. 
you removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Hallelujah. With joy. I like that. Mm -hmm. And I like the dancing part too. Yes. That sure. my heart may sing to you and not be silent. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. I loved when you played, uh, was it How Majestic? Yeah, How Majestic is that? Majestic. Dun, 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 yes, dun. How That's Majestic a great is your name in all yeah. the earth. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise God. And uh, Do you have a little song you want to sing first before you start mm, reading? I don't we know. We haven't planned for anything, no, really. No, we didn't. But um, let's see let's how about... Let it, let, you want to just let it develop here? Well, let's develop it right now. Okay, develop I just it right it. now. I will listen. <laughs> James 5, 14, and 15, which are wonderful. I learned that when I was a child. And then Matthew 17, 20, and Matthew 9, 21, 22. And the notes that I have here say, when your ideas, when your, well, the title is when you're faced with illness of this little sermonette. If someone, doctor, has told you that you have an incurable
incurable illness or an illness that you're going to have to work through, then stand. Pray, ask God for your healing, and stand with Him. Thank Him every hour of the day. Well, let me go ahead with this. When, you're, when your own ideas, when your ideas are gone, new insights from faith clear all mental blocks to your healing, to your desired prayer. So stand in faith and let God's insights come and clear away all those mental blocks. And we do get that sometimes. And then in faith, fill up what was cleared out of mental blocks and new insights as we practice faith uh, will refresh you in the Lord. And over here I put as a result of prayer and faith, visualize an image of healthy cells and organs, a clear bloodstream. No matter what you've been diagnosed with, the first part of that is die. We don't have to. We can live unto Christ, and He took the stripes. You don't think He took those in vain, do you? He took the stripes on His back, and they, they let His blood flow for you and me. And it is with that blood of Jesus that we may be made whole. And once you've been clear, you've prayed the prayer of faith, then believing and begin to image in faith day after day, even a hundred times a day, if it takes it, but receive it as you thank the Lord Jesus. I'm doing this. A person who had no appetite, little story, began to eat suddenly, to eat heartily, and to feel better. Astonished, when he went back to the doctors, said, your disease symptoms have disappeared. What in the world has happened? And so what we do, what we must do is affirm our faith. We must believe, believe, believe constantly, confess with our mouth, believe in our heart. Amen. And then release those mental blocks. That's right. And then God will use your mind to refresh you and freshen your mind with new insights and ideas. And then, most of all, the practice of faith in the Lord is very explicitly important. Because by putting your life completely in God's hands is when you gain the strength to stand. Put your faith in God's hands and stand. Remember, a little faith gets little results. I'll say that again. A little faith gets little results. Mm -hmm. But when you stand in your big faith, you're going to get big results That's in right. Jesus' name. Amen. Boy, Amen. That's a good word. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> to have big faith. Yes, big faith. Big faith. Stand in it. Okay. Step up in it in big faith. Don't say, Jesus, I, I hope you'll heal me. I hope That's you. not what God said. He said, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden with burdens and I will give you rest and then you ask him in faith believing Amen. and confess your praise to him day in day out for as long as it takes and he will give you the desires of your heart he will refresh your mind he will let you stand image that healed whole body that's right image your back that is aching and feels like it's breaking your hip joints, your knees, whatever. Even if you've had surgery already, image the fact that it is healed and complete. Quickly. And the Lord has done this for us already 
in because, Jesus' name. Because. Because, of course. I always have, I always have a song for that. Good. I'm so glad. It's impossible. Put your trust in God. Nothing's impossible. And by faith, receive your healing. Your healing. Your blessing. Whatever it is, financial yes. healing, physical healing. You know, we've talked about this many times. Because, yes, we have. And we must believe this at the beginning of this year that That's right. Him. And you know, uh, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. That chorus right there just brings me back to the Shrine Auditorium oh, in yes. Los Angeles once a month with Catherine Goldman. And the choir would sing this just before she came out. Nothing is impossible. I mean, those oh, people, 5,000 people yes. sitting in that congregation at the Shrine Auditorium were prepared to receive their miracle. Oh, so exciting. Nothing Isn't it? was said is impossible with God. With and if we can believe that today, I'm you. telling you, the sky's the limit. Amen. Put your faith in oh, God. Hallelujah. Well, why don't you say heaven is the limit? <laughs> it's really Heaven limit. is the limit. That's he right. Heaven is the limit. Amen. And, uh, but faith. Hope and charity. God, faith, hope, and, and charity. charity. That's the way to live, live successfully. successfully. How do I know the Bible tells me so? Do, do good to you. If we we are getting it. Don't worry about tomorrow, just Did you give them the scriptures? James 1, 6 okay. was the first one. James 5, 14 and 15. I love that. Is there any sick among you? Let him call on the oh, elders right. of the church and let them pray over you. Let's I, do that right now. I, I would love to do that right now. Are you looking at a scripture in the Bible? Well, no. I, I was thinking of reading that one because it Read that again. gives it faith. Is, any, is there any sick among you? Is there? Okay. Let him call for the elders of the church. And we are elders right now. And there are elders out and in there Facebook are, land for sure. Rhonda's an elder. Many are Brenda's prayers. an elder. Oh, we Brenda, have all these great elders yes, up there. Joy and Mike Sandlin. and Sam, Kevin oh, Sandlin. Yeah. And so many who pray for you so every many. Sunday. So many. Yes. So uh, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing them with oil. In the name of the Lord, you can anoint yourself with oil. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Praise God. And if ye have committed sins, they shall be forgiven you. How wonderful is that? Let that sink in. That's great. The Lord shall raise you up. He will. He'll raise you up right now. Amen. Right wherever this Wherever you are right now, wherever you're sitting, wherever you're just laying down in bed, or if you're in a hospital, uh, you're just with, with 
<laughs> all the care in the world that you're getting there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but God is the healer. Yes, he is. <coughs> you can have a surgery, but who heals the, the wound? God. God. That's the miracle right Amen. there. And even before a surgery, we pray. We've had many, many, we've seen, I have seen, I'm telling you, Cheryl, mm -hmm. throughout my life, having worked with all Roberts and oh, Catherine Kuhlman, and, and uh, you just name Amen. all these Amen. great. And so many of those sat at our table yeah, at, with at, my father, the preacher. At, at home, right? Yes, at our house. Sat there and <clears throat> gave us their ministry, yeah. person to person. Well, we, ha we are person to person with Jesus Christ, our Lord and King and Master, our Savior, our wow. Healer, Redeemer. He has many names, yes. but He belongs to you. Yes. And you belong to Him. That's right. And it's he as though wants they're sitting, well. It's as though they're sitting at our the table, at our right? Table. At our table. Mm -hmm. And we're serving you blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> Got to eat blueberries, okay, guys. I'm telling I'm, you, I'm it, going really, to. it really works. But uh, uh, but we're amen. across from you, and we're just telling you that Jesus loves you. Yes, He does. He loves you so much that He oh. cares for you. Yes, He, he does. He He wants the oh, best for you. Yes. He adores you. Oh, absolutely. He created you. Uh huh. He breathed the breath of life into you. Yes. And God's not mocked. He had a plan for your life from the beginning, mm -hmm. from before you were born, the day you were born, and right on to this day. <clears throat> he has a plan, and if you've missed that plan, step into it right uh -huh. now. He'll put you right where he planned for you to be. You know the little lady with the issue of blood? You know that story? Yes. That she had a uh, flowing of blood for 12 years. And she thought, if I can just come behind him, and Jesus, touch him. and touch the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. And before she could get quite to him, and she reached out and touched his garment, he whirled around. He turned right. around, and he saw her, and he said, daughter. Be of good comfort, for your faith hath made, made thee whole. whole. And, and you, we have that opportunity. And you know, Cheryl, you remember when we were sending out the hankies that we prayed over? Oh, yes. We many prayed over that. Many back. of you have gotten those, too. Yes. And we prayed over that, the hanky. You know, that's in the Word of God. Yes, it is. We could pray over that cloth as though you're, we're touching the hem of his garment. Oh, just like she fabric did. right there. Mm -hmm. And you know what, what dropped in my mind just now What's was that? that that quilt oh, that yes. Jessica sent us. Jessica sent us. That's Jessica. like... She prayed over every stitch. Yes, she said that. And of that Oh, my goodness. Quilt. And, and if you only knew... That she is a senior citizen, and it took her two years to complete that quilt, but she did it. She did with it. faith in God that she could. And what did it for this ministry? Yes, she actually made that quilt for this yes, ministry. She did. It's, it's our. It's ours. It's not just ours. It's yours too. I, I have a question. Would you like? What? What are you going to say? I, I wondered if you'd like Miss Jessica. What? To make something for you. Ooh, well, I don't know, Cheryl. Well, I don't mean <coughs> just a personal, personal well, thing. Well, I'm, I'm a step ahead. I'm a step ahead of you. All right, be a step ahead of me. I love it. I'm a step ahead of you, Cheryl. <laughs> you always are. Go not ahead. really, not all the time. But anyway, I, I I'm a step it. ahead of you. I already talked to Miss Jessica, oh. and I said, like, Jessica, how can we get? the hem of this garment right here yes into the hands of our people out there yes. that also can experience this opportunity of something that is preyed upon yes that is blessed that's anointed and get it to you somehow listen you know uh, let, me, let me say this though I, if it were up to us we would uh, we would get it made and send it out to you mm -hmm. but you know you know you're intelligent people that it, it, it takes finances to do that and but that's okay because I, I want something that we can f from I would say like the offspring of that beautiful quilt that beautiful quilt precious that sound, looks similar to that one yes just maybe. a piece of it doesn't have to be a whole quilt no just a piece of it well what about a piece of it that you could frame or or 
You might even have a like a pillow. Yeah, I'm not sure about the frame. I like people to be able to hold it all the okay, time. Okay, then then maybe a pillow. I like the idea of people laying their heads on a pillow. It's at That's night. A nice I just thing. feel the pre or not that particular pillow, but have it close to you, and then you're living up somewhere. Or kneel on it, knowing that okay. it's been prayed over. Oh, and that's great. that it has an that's anointing great. on it yeah. when it comes to you. Yeah. yeah. And you could kneel, kneel yeah. on it and pray the prayer of faith. And, and folks, I want you to know, God. this is real. This is not just oh, trying yes. to get something to you, a piece of prop fabric that that, yeah. that that means nothing. No. That mm -hmm. hanky, I'll always remember when I did a, a year of concerts and I had a little hanky in my, maybe some of you have been there, and it had Dino on it. Yes. That, it, someone it engraved was Dino on there. And I took it out in the concert, and I said, "This was this was similar to what my grandmother would do. She, yeah, yeah, would do this. She pray over the hanky. I said, Dino, I want you to because when I was sick, she'd bring it over to the, our apartment and she'd lay it on me. And I'll tell you what. Yes. I'll tell you what. It worked. Yes. There is there's strength and there's power in something yes. that you pray over and you anoint. So." This, this quilt, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it. The most beautiful thing that we've ever received Absolutely. as far as a quilt. And we feel that you need to be a part of that. So we let's, let's pray about that too. Yes, we'll you, we'll, you keep, we'll keep you in touch, okay? And if you <clears> think <throat> you might, you might just say it this morning that you would be interested in that. Um, and I remember, Dino, that we received back one of those cloths in the mail yeah. one time. I don't know if you even remember this, but but it was turquoise. Turqu and it turquoise. Had white, white on it. Yes, yeah, that's right. And we received that back saying that the lady that maybe came up and played piano with you yeah, okay. had gone to glory meeting the way. master yes. in her later years and that she prayed every day for you and prayed over that cloth, held right. it in her hand, and prayed anointing, and the healing, daughter, and safety. The daughter sent it back to say, Dino, I want my mother's prayers to be still with to you. Be with that, that, that's a wonderful story, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. It's great. And until the flood, I believe, we still had that one. Do we have one like that? We did, until it walked away in the flood. But we have Jesus, and but he's God, let me tell you, a wonderful point of contact. God multiplied that hanky in, with you. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that are praying for us. Yes. It's just amazing. Oh, yes. And we feel those we prayers. I can't, I can't tell you how much oh, we feel we those love prayers. You. Every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Even, I mean, the simplest. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, we got a new puppy, and his name is Nico. And right now, Nico is under the piano, and he, he loves music. music. Okay. Yes, he loves piano music. And, I, you know, I. What happened the other day when he was bark barking so much? We should have stuck him under the piano again. <laughs> what <clears throat> happened though yesterday when you were at the piano practicing some things? He came right up to me. And, and I actually lifted him up. And he's right here on my lap. And I was practicing with him there. And he laid his, his head on my shoulder. I mean, even to that point, your prayers mm -hmm. are bringing peace That's into our Jesus lives. That's what Jesus does for us, Dino. Yes. Just what we do for little Nico or... For our children or grandchildren, you lift them up, uh -huh. and you lift them up with your voice in prayer to Jesus, yeah. and that's what happens when we lift others up in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we Cheryl, thank you for lifting. I want us you to take up. this little hymn book right yes, here, sir? and I want you living for Jesus. Ooh, that is smart. I haven't heard this song in a hundred years, I haven't and the Lord heard it just in gave it to me. You haven't heard it in a seventy-three day. years, seventy-two hours. <laughs> Uh, and I want you, I know the print is very small. They even, mm -hmm. I did small print back then too, oh by the my. way. But this was for the young people, singing young, youth. Singing youth, well. <laughs> we need singing seniors. I had good eyes. SS. Pretty okay, much. living for Jesus. See if you could just do the chorus. And let me play it for you first. Uh, let me yeah. see again. Uh, <laughs> where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? <laughs> Senior citizens, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a. Uh, Bye. 
life to thee. Yes, and we will live for Jesus. We'll live for you, Lord. Mm. And I pray if there's one right now that's, that's on this Facebook that needs help, that needs healing, I pray in the name of Jesus, by your precious blood, that you'll heal that body. Yes, Lord. Father, heal that body right now. Right now Make Jesus. it whole. That pain must go right now in the name of Jesus. We can command it to go. God has given us the authority. Yes, he has. Yes, oh, that has, word. Father. He has given us, us the authority. When he left this, According to his when he was caught up in the air, here from this planet Earth, yes. he left his Holy Spirit Praise and has given us the authority to pray for us, to lay hands on yes. others. And we lay hands on, on those the... right now as though we're living we're right they there in that living room. Recover, Lord, and they shall recover. Yes, they shall. We pray that you be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, we believe thank it, for and for it's our going to happen. Brothers and sisters. And just say it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my miracle. Thank you for my miracle. Thank you for my miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Until the day oh, yes. we have a new body, just think. Oh, Those two legs goodness. of yours that have had arthritis or even limping or whatever it is, yes. you're going to have two new legs, <laughs> yes. two new feet to run on the streets of gold. You'll have two oh, new arms oh, with just pure healed oh, arms yes. to lift up praise and you, praise Jesus. our God. In his presence. Yes. Hallelujah. Your sight will make, be made whole. Ooh. Perfect sight. Amen. Perfect to have everything. 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 What does it mean that he can't heal us from this? Right this moment. Right this very moment. Because he's in this very room. Hallelujah. He's in your room. We'll give you praise, honor. We give you glory, yes. Father. We give you praise and honor for glory, all you've glory, done glory, and for Father. meeting us today yes. at this Thank hour that we have together with our Facebook friends. Thank you so much. In your name we pray this. And all his people say, everyone say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, let's end with, I always love to end with so, this song right here. It's so uplifting. Well, you don't have to go back there because it's already set up, right? Oh, you have to. I have to. Why do I? You need a little arm and go in there and just <laughs> hit the off button, okay? Uh, the way it's precariously standing, I better go do it. Can you tell I'm getting ready for heaven with the play on the harp? Amen. I'm gonna play the harp right now. on Tuesday. God willing, we'll be here and have a wonderful, wonderful day, the, the day of the Lord, Amen. whether it's Saturday or Sunday for you. Precious. There's a lot of Saturday people that are precious people. Yes. Uh, we have friends that are Seventh-day Adventists, and we pray for them, and we love them so much. We have a lot of folks that watch us sure. from the Seventh-day Adventist uh, denomination, but and Saturday or Sabbath. Sunday.
whichever you worship That's right. is what's important. And we're going to believe that every day of the week is a week that you serve the Lord. Amen. What's the song we sang, Cheryl? Living for Jesus, right here. Don't you love that song? Oh, that's beautiful. It's a pretty song, isn't it? I'm so shocked. I brought it out I, of the grave. I'm so today. shocked that I'd never heard I it. I know. Okay, we'll see you now. And thank you so much, those that have been giving us uh, finances to help us ministry to continue to get us to that next level where we can get out on the road and, and the Lord blesses us <coughs> with offering and, <coughs> and product sale. We're blessed, but when we're home like this, and we don't know how much longer, but we are planning, ladies and gentlemen, just keep praying for us and with us Amen. that we will be going to Nashville and perhaps we'll see you there. Praise the Lord. There's still an interest of opening that theater so in Nashville, Tennessee. And you can come and see us maybe two or three times a week if you're in that area. And we're going to have a great time with the Lord. And it'll entertain you, and it'll bless you, and bring you joy and happiness, and just to be able to, not just the elbow, but shake your hand, yes. okay, and say thank you. Thank you for your blessings, and thank you for your donations. And a lot of you know how to do that. You go on BransonCakes.com, and there's a place down there where, where I, you can check off whatever amount, and it'll go right into our account, and then we'll take care of our bills, and take care of our ministry, and take care of those that help us and work for us. And mostly to present the gospel of Jesus Christ Amen. through Facebook and other ways of doing it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye and have a wonderful day. I hate to leave you, you know, but we have to go. Bye. <laughs>